Hey everybody, this is Brandon with Silver Vacuum Man. I've got a uh, friend training partner here, uh, Tim, helping me out today. Thank you, Tim. Um, so, uh, last week we talked about just the importance of having fun and just some enjoyment with what we're doing. And again, it doesn't mean it um, can't be hard, but there's got to be something that's enjoyable. And so, one thing I've been doing more with, with my clients and in classes and just feel like there's a big benefit in is, um, is playing games. Because um, I feel like it incorporates a lot of what we're trying to do because really competition is just a game. It's, you know, there's maybe a, there's more of a um, consequences too if you, if you lose or whatnot or if you win. So um, one simple one is, is uh, it's playing a game of tag. And this one, you might have seen this before. Ido Portal has done this before. Um, so simply it's just with your partner, it's just going to be touching their shoulder. And one thing that I like to do is make sure that your right, um, your right hand goes to the near side shoulder, left hand to this shoulder. You don't reach across. And that just eliminates the chance of maybe getting raked in the eyes, <laughs> just for safety's purposes here. And, and again, just to maybe simplify it a little bit more so we can kind of learn some of the deep principles of what we're doing. Um, so that, you know, the tag game is just simply that. We can move our feet, we're not going to do a ton here so we stay in the screen, but um, we're just simply trying to touch each other's shoulder and we're, if he tries to touch, I can't defend with my hands, I just use distance management of trying to lean back a little bit and then we're just simply going to just doing that, just trying to touch, basically touch your, per, um, your partner's shoulder without getting touched yourself. And again, you can move your feet a lot more than we're doing here. Um, we're just trying to stay in the screen here. So. Um, yeah, so give that a try. One thing another uh, I really believe in is progressing things, the ability to adjust things, to, to find that sweet spot where somebody's being challenged and they're learning, but they're not over challenged. And so one thing I found with some clients is that um, they, don't, they don't really understand a lot of like how to play this game in a way, as funny as it sounds. Kind of the, the idea of like faking, you know, fainting um, and, and kind of playing with like how you're, they're just like looking and they'll just try to touch, look and just try to touch. So to me, try to take a step back so we kind of start to learn some of those principles of how do you faint, fake, try to read what they're doing, notice when I reach here, that one comes forth and I can fake here and go to that one. Some people don't know that. And so what I found is now we are gonna plant our feet. One person is gonna be the tagger, so then this case will be Tim, and I'll be defending, but I can't, I can't move out of, out, of my, um, out of range. So if he goes to tag my shoulder, if I lean back, he's still gonna be able to touch it. But his goal is to touch my shoulder as close as possible. So if he reaches for this one and touches it, but I'm, I'm back here, it's like not as much of a, of a win, I guess you could say. What he wants to do is touch it when it's right there, up nice and up, up front. Or even better is if I'm coming forward and he touches it, even better, similar to a punch. You don't want him moving away, you want to move it into it, or at least close. So, so it just be simply that. It's like, it helps him to learn how to play that, to me I kind of call it that middle game, not just stance to where you want to strike, it's thinking and kind of moving in between here and start to read what they're doing, your awareness, and to read what they're doing and use that to be able to tag. So again, um, simply uh, said here, he's gonna tag my shoulders, I'm gonna be moving my, my shoulders away, trying not to be hit close especially. And he wants to tag your shoulder as close, close as possible. Not when I'm going back, not when I'm back, but when I'm like that forward or coming forward. So, so again, just a little progression like that. So, Anyway, give that a try. Let me know what you think. If you have any other games you come up with, please let me know because a lot of this stuff is great to be creative and just how you can tweak things here and there just to have fun and get some uh, good work and skill development with it. So, uh, again, my name is Brandon Silverback MMA. This is Tim. Thank you again for the help, and we will see you next week.